hello and welcome back to another video in tia portal okay before this video i have created one uh, very brief uh, video about the introduction about the tia portal version 18 so i am using actually the version 18 now we will create the very first project in ti portal and simulate it we will learn how to use the uh, ti portal 18 plc simulator because this simulator is quite different as compared to the previous uh, simulator of the ti portal okay so when you open this uh, ti portal 18 uh, 18 this window will pop up so just uh, from left side window i will create the a new project very simple step just follow me create a new project give the name of the project okay and my first simulation in pia version 80 let's say you can give any name whatever you want now you have to select the path where you want to save your project and uh, let me select this one uh, from ti portal in the folder i create one more folder uh, tia simulation okay select uh, you can give uh, you can write the uh, author name as default is my name is asif Iqbal. In the comments you can give any comments so that you can in the future if you see the pro uh, project you can see who created the project any information which you want you can write it here in the comments okay if you don't want let it be blank and just click on the create now the project is being created It takes some time, uh, depends on your PC performance, uh, but not very much time. I think it has created, and now we are in the portal view. Okay, so from here, uh, the very first step you have to take uh, I have now just only created the one project with the name and save in the uh, specific defined predefined path. Now, what I will do, I will just create and configure my hardware that the what hardware i want to use in my project okay so for that configure a device if i go to configure a device because i don't have configured any device so far so what i will do i will click add new device when you click the add new device a pop-up window will appear and you have to select your controller okay now from here you have a different uh, options like controllers all the family of Siemens PLC is shown here and from the HMI you can select the all type of HMI and the PC system you can select all the PC system but because this is a very first project in TI portal so I will just first select the any PLC from let's say S7 1200 click cpu and just i take let's say uh, 12 12 this one okay you can take any one uh, but just for simulation let's say i take this one uh, 12 12 c dc dc and this is the cpu 4. Point, version 4.6 okay now just click add all the information related to the cpu which i have selected is shown here in the description that how many work memory it has what is the supply voltage how many input and type of the input and how many output and type of the output either it has analog 
input or not all information have this shown here okay now it is uh, being asked that either you want your plc to be any production or not any production so i will just uh, unclick okay i don't want any production uh, because i am just doing the simulation but this is important when you are doing any project for your industry and for your client you it is good practice to make your plc protection uh, any level of production either only write production or read production or read or write both production so uh, we will discuss the things later but currently i am not uh, putting any kind of protection in my plc because i am just doing the uh, simulation and just for learning purpose okay and just click okay i check uncheck this one and just finish okay now in this view you can see i have uh, selected one cpu uh, and the information about the CPU you can see here in the general description okay and this is my device view uh, this is my network view when I will add another device either PLC HMI so it uh, and the connection between them will be shown here in the network view and this is the topology view okay so in the device view okay just I click this PLC and let me show you the basic information if you go to the properties you can see the general information about the plc okay io tag system constant and tax okay all the things is here okay now You can see the information about the CPU, CPU 12, 12C, DC, DC, DC. Okay, and these are these are the all the input already. Uh, this is a very good feature of the TI portal that is telling you that how many inputs and what kind of input is available here. So this CPU actually have a two input uh, for the analog starting address IW64 and IW66 and this is the all the input digital input i0.0 to i0.7 this is the output q0.0 to q0.5 okay so uh, what i am going to do i want to take just any one input and one output so let's say i just take this one and give any name let's say my uh, switch I, I did not give a, I did not put in any, any tag table just as default okay and I take one output this is the LED is output one input and one output 0, 0.0 my input and Q0.0 .0 is my output okay now I just go to my programming blocks left side we have all the blocks information PLC information so I just in the main i go to main ob1 the basic information and definition about the ob1 is same as in the semantic manager so if you want to know about the basics about the ob blocks function blocks you can watch my video in the playlist of plc and hmi drives i will put the link in the description so can you can watch easily okay so simply i will click here i will create very simple uh, logic here just let's say simple and uh, one input and one output from here you can just select and select your defined input this is sys and this is my output as LED okay very simple program very simple 
just because I want to show you how can you simulate, uh, how can you use your PLC simulator uh, version 18 in Sematic in TI portal. So after that, I will just compile this OB1. This is the compile button. Check any error or not. Okay, block was successfully compiled. Compiling finished. Error zero one is zero. Blocks are is okay. Okay. Now I will select the PLC and compile all the PLCs. You we'll see what's the error or anything else. Uh, okay, it's showing me error. The password must not be empty. Again, even though I have tell the uh, some, uh, TI portal that I don't want the password, but it's telling me that the password must not be empty. Okay, so this is one error. I will just double click this one. Okay, come to here in the password version. It is saying no access complete production. I will give the full access. Okay, click uh, just check the radio button full access with no protection. Okay. Now again I select this one and compile this. Now check again. Mm, okay, now looks everything is okay because the no block was compiled, all blocks are up to date, compiling free no wrong. Means that all everything is okay. Okay. So what I have done uh, so far, I selected an CPU from S7 1200 series. I created a simple, uh, very simple logic, simple one input and one output, and I compiled the blocks. It was okay. I, when I compared with the PLC, there was an error telling that they, there is no protection. I told the TI portal that I don't want any protection. I give full access to the user. Okay, no any write or read protection. Now, now I want to simulate it. Okay, uh, for simulation, there is a button. I start simulation okay uh, just click this one so it's giving me some information again okay, simulation about just click OT okay now uh, PLC sim or simulator will be opened in another video because uh, this environment of uh, simulator version 18 is quite different okay you see it is very different as compared to the previous version of the simulator of TIA portal this is S7 PLC SIM version 18. Okay, now it has opened. When I go to my uh, project TI portal version 18, uh, it is still working here. Let it be finished now. Uh, it's giving again one warning PLC 1 the plc which i have selected might not be trustworthy device just say that okay just connect it okay everything is okay just click the load keep in mind i did not do anything in the ps plc simulator window i just click it it opened here and then i come again here and then uh, load the in Okay, now what I want, I want a start module to uh, module all the module to the start and just finish. Okay. Now again, go to the simulator, and if you come here, you will see now the my PLC in the run mode. This is a PLC PLC one S seven twelve hundred. It is in a run mode. The uh, default IP address is this one 192.168.0.1 okay now you see the environment is quite different as compared to the previous version of the uh, PNC simulator version 13 or version 14 okay now I just uh, minimize it and I will what I will do I will go to the uh, online go to online okay, go
go to main block ob1 click this one is monitoring now you see now you are uh, simulating your the logic in plc version 18 plc sim version 18 now if i want to trigger this switch and check the output what is the steps it is very different as compared to previous you have to go to plc simulator and come to this window okay now here you have to take this same table add this is showing your plc okay now here you just double click add and here here is not not any drop down window to select my the input which i want to simulate uh, i don't know why the simmons not put it here i would recommend that here should be a drop down to select the all the inputs which i want to simulate but no 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 issue let's say i write my uh, what was the input name my switch okay as i write sw it's giving me switch it is my actually the input and default added was 0, 0.0 it was the boolean okay <clears throat> okay now again i select this one and what was my output it was led and output was q0.0 .0, it was also boolean okay now there is a disabled you have to what uh, click the run and here you have to write the uh, the value which you modify because it is a zero i want to modify with the one just click ok now see here also in simulation when i make it true the output also become true you can also see here see this output is Can you show like this? If we try, okay, this is true, then it is also true, and output is high. Now, when I make this one is zero, press enter, it's become false and it is also become false so this way you can simulate all your inputs what step you have to take you have to actually take this simulation table here and one by one all the one by one add all the fields here to configure your input and then cross monthly you can select it will be select default either address or the display format and you have to give the modify value and just press enter it will be simulated in your ti portal version 18 here. so this was a very basic uh, but i focused here in this video that how can you create a very simple project how can you select any cpu uh, but uh, most important things which i observed in my practice during this video that the CPU you want to simulate, it should have version uh, 4. Point, uh, above 4, not 2.2 or 3 version. If the firmware version is below 4, uh, the simulation will not work. To keep in mind, for simulation, you select any CPU uh, which firmware version is updated 4 or above 4. So, I focused here uh, to teach you how can you create a very simple project in TIA portal version 18 and also use the PLC sim version 18 how can you simulate from version uh, simulation and check the status in your project real time I hope you like this video uh, if you have any confusion or comments you can write in the comment box I will try my best to answer, the, answer this uh, till next video uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share this video among your friends in next video take very good yourself take care and love this